What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so, in this episode right here, we're in Route 15, and there, there's gonna be a few things that you're gonna be able to find here. New Pokemon, interesting people, all that crud, and a few good items that you'll probably want for your eventual Pokemon League battle. You know, the, the real one, where you actually get the, the championship and all that stuff. You know, you guys know what I mean. So, anywho, let's go inside and see what we can find in this place right here. Now, if you talk to this individual right here, I believe this person right here will trade you a Ditto for a Rodon. And, unfortunately, I don't have a Ditto with me right now. I think I had one. I think I did. I don't know. I think I had one uh, off screen. But, yes, yeah, she will trade you a Rodon for a Ditto. And then... Uh, Let's see, there's going to be a few people that you're going to be battling here and there and all that stuff, which is always fun. And there's no hidden item right here. So let's continue on our adventure right here with battling this guy right now. I, I'm trying to like to look at him. And he's like, I will unveil my Pokemon to you. They, will, they are the best in the world. Oh yeah? CM Punk has something to say about that. Okay, so here we go, another Pokemon battle, and we're going to be taking on Pokefan Elliot. And here he comes out with a new Pokemon, new to the Unova region, a Gulpin, and, well, we're ready to kick some butts, take some names and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and just impose our will onto this guy right here. So, anywho, in our last episode, we just went straight to the Marvelous uh, Bridge, found a few of the, uh, well, let's say the Shadow Triad, and... Got ourselves Hydra 5, and now it's about, it's about to evolve. I'm getting the hiccups here, god dang it. And, well, funny thing is that I'm still trying to wake, or I'm still trying to, uh, what was it called, uh, hatch my egg right here. So, and that's another thing that we, 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 we're, we're, we're looking at right now. And, well, let's see. Hold on just a sec. Going up against a Drifloom right here. This Pokemon, it's a big old balloon and all that crud. But let's go with a crunch attack just to finish this guy off right here. Look at that. Crunch attack. Finish him off. Come on. And there you go. Not so much power not so many powerful Pokemon that he has. Would have been better if he evolved him and all that crud, but you know what? It is what it is. And well, let's continue on right here with Ace. Stoutland from Scotland. And well, let's go ahead and take this guy out with some wild charge right here. Don't know why you got a wild charge and then you got a volt tackle. What's the difference between the both of them? I don't even know. And a spiel. No more. And, well, yeah, you know, the recoil and all that crud. And Hydro 5 has just grown to level 21. And, uh, crud, it won't learn. Uh, I don't think it's going to learn tackle anytime soon. But I do have a grip load of uh, TMs, HMs, and all that stuff to teach it once it turns into a Gyarados. So here we go, wild charge yet again. Finish him. Finish him. And there you go, Swablu defeated. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And look at that. Feeling great about it. So this is new right here, guys. We haven't seen an evolution in quite some time. And... You know, <laughs> the guy who sold us the Magic Carp, he's like, joke's on him. He paid $500 for a useless Pokemon. Well, guess what? The joke's on you. I'm the greatest trainer in Unova. And yes, Hydra 5 is finally evolving into its perfect form right here. Gyarados. Or Gyarados. Look at that. Looking like a beast. The beast incarnate right there. So, for five straight generations, guys, I've managed to get a Hydra. And, well, unfortunately, since it evolved at level 21, it will not learn its, uh, its move. So, we're going to have to teach it a few moves. Eventually, you know, hopefully it grows a, a better level and all that stuff. Uh, learns new moves and all that crud. I'm just going to teach him a few things along the way, like Thunderbolt. It can learn Thunderbolt, believe it or not. And then, uh, what else? learn just a bunch, uh, bunch of moves. And luckily, I do have a, a buttload of uh, different kinds of moves right here, like Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb's a pretty damn good move, and it cannot learn that. So, let's see. Anything else? Flame Charge? Nah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 
maybe, maybe Flame Charge, just for a little bit of a coverage and all that stuff, and no, it cannot learn it. Let's see. Focus Bless, Sky Drop. Well, it is a flying type Pokemon, but I don't think it can it can learn uh, Sky Drop right here. Nope. Can't. And let's see. It's not a lot of stuff that it can learn right now. Volt Switch, you can probably learn that. Uh, you know what? Let's see. It can't. Oh, you know what? It can learn Bulldoze and Frost Breath. So those those are pretty good moves right there. So I'm just gonna teach it that. Frost Breath. Eventually, it's gonna learn some better moves. Might teach him. Might take it away or something like that. And Rock Slide. Yes, it can learn Rock Slide. So I'm just gonna teach him that. And then, well, it can not learn Rock Slide right here. So those are some good moves that we taught it. Now let's move on right here. Now there are quite a few things that you can actually find right here. Like in the grass, you'll be able to find some newer Pokemon like Fero, Glagger. But believe it or not, Kangaskhan can can actually be found right here. Uh, let's see, Pupitar. Pupitar. You guys remember Pupitar? Yeah, that little guy. You can actually find him right here. The only thing is that <laughs> it's rare. It's a rare Pokemon, so good luck trying to find it, like, quickly and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put on a repel because don't want to, yeah, don't want to get messed around by Pokemon. Now, in the wrestling grass, like the tall grass, you'll be able to find a Tyranitar as well. So that's a big one. And this lady right here is like, Yoo-hoo, Pokemon. Yoo-hoo, Pokemon. Yoo-hoo, are you a trainer? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's do this. So here we go, going up against a Shelly. And she will be coming out with her Altaria right here. Dragon-type Pokemon. This is going to be a doozy of a battle right here, just because it is a Dragon-type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and use Strength Attack. Hopefully this will finish this guy off, because... You know, Hotshot's pretty strong in the back, right? And new. No. And here comes its Cotton Guard. And well, its defense is going to be going up a little. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use another Strength Attack. See what that does. Do I have any Pokemon with Ice type moves? Trust me, guys, it's been a while since I played this, and oh god, it is. Okay, so this is going to be a problem right here because it's using Dragon Dance. So now, we're going to have to work quickly right here. And I'm going to go with Sigh of the Torrent right here. Hopefully it does have a move, move some there. Some there, somewhere around there just to beat this guy. Alright, so what you got? What do you got? And here comes another Cutting Guard. Not, well, it's, <laughs> it's defending itself, but it's not going to attack me just yet. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, oh wait, yes, I got Dragon Tail. I got Dragon Tail. And, like I said before, we gotta work quickly on this guy because it's increasing its speed, it's increasing its attack. Sooner or later, it's gonna attack me somehow. And, ooh. But it got moved away. So, we got a chance to actually beat this guy real quickly. And here comes that Snow Warning. Now, it got removed from battle, so all it's a. Uh, all its stat buffs, it just, well yeah, it just got removed, so that gives us another uh, shot at beating this guy. But I'm going to be switching out to Hotshot now since quadruple damage. And, well, here we go. Come on, Hotshot, let's do this. And here comes that wood hammer, not so powerful. Look at that. It took a nice chunk, got some recoil, but guess what? Guess what? Look what's going to happen right here. Let's go with a flare, a flare, bro, a flare blitz. I'm trying to say that, try to say that all at once. I'm not like I'm, I'm trying to talk here, but I can't. And look at this. Say goodbye to Bumma Snow. Damn. Got your butt kicked real quick. Hot shot did its thing. Everybody's going levels, and look at that Hydra two or Hydra five is growing. And well. Now we gotta switch out Pokemon because Altaria right here is coming out. And we can actually use Side of the Torrent again. And it might this time Dragon what Dragon Tail can actually win this time. So hopefully well, hopefully it takes him out in one hit. I don't wanna beat this guy right here. So let's go Dragon Tail for the win. And seriously, gonna go with your Dragon Dance again. That's what happens when you're battling a whole bunch of trainers with uh, with level 65 Pokemon right here. And there we go. Almost beats Altaria. 
gets bunched by the, by the hail. And look at that. Thank you, Mother Nature. And that's how you win a, a Pokemon battle right there. And Hydra 5 growing. And it's learning a new move, Dragon Rage, which is a good move, I guess. Let's take away Splash. And there we go. Alrighty, okay. So that's another Pokemon trainer down right there. I will give you this as a sign of my respect for your toughness. And look at that, we get ourselves a Citrus Berry. Very, very nice. And, well, Pokemon Transfer. Apparently there's a Pokemon Transfer around here, and, well, I'm gonna... Let's see. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta heal up my Pokemon right here, because... We got quite a few more trainers, or maybe two more trainers to actually beat right here, so... Let's see, Hyper... Nope, not that one. Hyper Potions. Stock up on your Hyper Potions, guys. And I'm getting a phone call right here, or not a phone call, but a text. Seems like everybody likes to text me right when I'm recording this whole thing right here, so... Yeah. Alrighty, so let us move on right here. And let's see, no items right here. We can't go anywhere right now. And let's move up, see what we can find on the, uh, up, like up here and all that stuff. And, well, I think we can go through this area right here. Didn't necessarily see it at first. Actually, no, I don't think you can, yeah, you can't do anything right there. Like I said, guys, this is the first time I've ever been into this area showcasing this on my channel. And, well, here we are in the Pokemon Transfer Lab. As many of you guys don't, as many of you guys already know, Pokemon Transfer Lab is a place where you can actually transfer your Pokemon from the Game Boy Advance versions all the way to this version right here. Now, I was thinking about it at first, bringing in my old team from Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon, what was it? Not yellow, Pokemon Leaf Green and all that stuff, just to finish out this whole walkthrough right here, but I kind of figured that, you know what? We came in with the team that we uh, from Unova. Let's finish it out with the team from Unova. So this place right here, you can actually get yourself, uh, yeah, your transfer Pokemon. And let's talk to this guy. Say repenso quante montang o atravesato in lungo in in largo me viente vante volgilia di un lota. And I do not know what he just said. I'm I'm pretty sure. Is it in Italian? Probably? I don't know. Here we go. Hiker Kid coming out. With a tank of a Pokemon himself. Hippodon. Hippodon. The Hippodon. I think that's what it's called right there. And here he comes out with his Sandstream. Definitely don't like that. Definitely, definitely don't like that. So, let's go ahead and switch out for Pokemon right here. Hippodon, of course, it's a ground type. Weak to water type. Haven't seen this Pokemon since Sinnoh, right? Yeah. Alrighty, so let's go save the torrent. And... Oh, damn. Sandstorm. Buffing us. So here comes the waterfall technique. That's right. Say goodbye to Hippodon. Hippodon. How do, I, how do you call it a pre-evolve form? And it flinched. Of course, we're gonna get hit by, by the sandstorm a little bit more. So let's go right ahead and go with another waterfall. And there we go. Say goodbye to Hippodon. Alrighty, look at that. Taking butt, taking names, everything in between. And of course, Hydra 5, growing levels as it goes, mooching off of our Pokemon right here. And it's coming out with an Onyx, so I'm gonna stay put with side of the Torrent right here. Gaining some more levels. Wow, we're adding pages to our Pokédex. Now, again, these are all Pokémon that you can transfer now since you put... You kinda did beat the Elite Four, but not the Champion. And... What else? Like I said, there are Pokémon around here where you... Some rare Pokémon that you can actually catch and all that stuff. And Hydra 5 is going level 25. And this guy's coming out with a Gligar. And yeah, you can actually find a Gligar here in this area. In the dark grass. That's what you, that's what it says right here. So let's go right ahead and another waterfall. Finish this little uh bat scorpion. What a bat scorpion. Wasn't there an episode on Pokemon of guy that, that's like a uh, Gligar Man or something? Probably. And bam. And I don't know what he's saying. I'm pretty sure he's saying it in Italian. I'm just gonna walk away right here. I'm just gonna walk away. And now we could 
get the heck out of here, go back to uh, black and black and white forest, or black city or white forest, depending on the version. But we still need to get some items, battle some Pokemon trainers. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Shadar. Shadar. Okay. Bring it on. Uh, let's see. What's wrong, Pokemon trainer? Are you lost in your journey? No. In your life, at like uh, at times like that, if you fight, you'll know. Okay. Here we go. Another Pokemon battle, and this time we're taking on Poker Ranger Keith. And this guy is coming out with his Marowak. Another Pokemon that you can actually find in this area. Dark grass and everything. And the tall grass too. So let's see which one of these two Pokemon will win it out. Let's go. High jump kick. Finish him. And that takes a good one. Here comes that double edge. Suicide hit. Bam. And, well, let's see. Uh, let's go with the Dragon Claw. Pretty sure Dragon Claw can finish this guy off. You know, attacking all that stuff. Look at that Dragon Claw. Does it do it? Damn it, it doesn't do it. And here comes that double edge again. Oh. And pretty sure it has Rock Hit because I don't see any recoil. So here we go, finishing this guy off with the high jump kick. Say goodbye to Marowak. And look at that, Shadar. Growing to level 66. And look at that. Hydra 5, growing levels as always, and it's learning Leer. Yeah, that's not a move that I want to teach it. I, I don't know why. I'm not doing any competitive battles or anything. And here she comes out, or here he comes out with a Executor, so let's go with Hotshot. Hey guys, don't you remember? I did have an Executor on my team at one point because a certain star Pokemon managed to sabotage us and all that fun. You know who I'm talking about. And here we go, Fire Punch, finish this guy off. Gotta say, I do like Executor's uh, leaves on it, well, on its head and all that stuff. And bam. Yes, sir. Say goodbye to Executor right there. And look at that. Ace, grows to level 63. And that's another victory for us. After defeating this guy, he'll actually give you another Citrus Bear right here. So look at that. Citrus Berries for the win. And now, you can see right here, there is a boulder. So we just need a Pokemon with strength, which we do have. Thankfully, Hotshot's in our team and all that stuff. And let's just push a little bit. One more. And this side right here. God dang it, I think I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Okay. So I gotta Okay, so I gotta I gotta get I gotta get back inside right here. And gotta get back over here. Don't worry guys, we will go into the next town. We will. So let's see how we do this. Uh let's see. Strength. And let's go with the strength. Bring it down, bring it down, and Yeah, okay. There is something screwy about this. Can't point my finger at it. Maybe if we push it one more time right here. Damn it! Okay. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Good old Draven forgets everything. Alright, let's try this again. It's very simple to many of you guys who, who did this before. But this is like the first time, guys, so... Get off my back. Alright, so here we go. Alright. I could... Go right here. And yes, we're getting attacked by another Pokemon. And look at that, we found ourselves a Gligar. And it's at level 49. It's a pretty good level right there. Very, very good level. And well, we're not going to be battling that guy because. Uh -huh. Oh, and we couldn't get away because it's a little faster than our Pokemon right here. And come on, let me leave. Completely forgot about that whole. I'm gonna call it repel right here. All right, so let's see, super repel doing the trick right there, and let's see, push it one. Okay, so there we go. There we go. I didn't even know we could do that. Okay, so there we go. There's a boulder. We grab our item and we get ourselves an upgrade, which can be used to actually evolve a Porygon into Porygon two. And well, I see another boulder right here. 
Yeah, crud. It's the same deal. Same deal as the last time. Right there, and look at that. We've covered that area. So let's go ahead and battle. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Woo! Actually, I thought that I was going to have to battle this chick with a... With a a hurt Pokemon right here. So let's use another Hyper Repel or Hyper Potion right here. Wish they would actually make Hyper Repels. I really do. How many steps would that be if we actually had a Hyper Repel? All right, let's go ahead and bug this lady. I will battle you, but you must relax your shoulders because you need to relax to show your ability. Okay, alrighty. So she's being a little kinky. That's fine. Let's get this battle girl Susie coming. And she will be coming out with her Meditite. Look at that. A fighting and psychic type of Monday. I kind of admire. We really do. Come to think of it, I really do like, uh... Like, I do like... Threat, or I do like fighting type Pokemon, but... Fighting type Pokemon with an, uh, a second typing. I don't know why, it just adds another dimension. Because if you only have, like, a fighting type Pokemon... It's just brute force, but if you have a Pokemon that was fighting in grass, fighting in fire, fighting in psychic, it's like, it's just like, you know, an extra oomph for your, uh, like for your punch or something like that. If you guys know what I'm talking about. And here he comes out, here she comes out with a Hitmontop. And I am not going to risk that, so let's go with Sigh of the Torrent right here. Finish this guy off. And, let's see... Look at that, side of the torrent. Looking all badass and everything. And Hitmontop, pretty cool Pokemon. Let's go with a waterfall attack right here. Does it do it? Can it do it? Will it do it? And it almost does, but here comes that close combat, so... This guy is screwing her, or this, this chick is screwing herself over because by doing that, look at that, it's defenses go down. So now, I see an opening. Let's go with the Dragon Tail and Blood Basket. Another, ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, so that didn't work out. It really didn't work out, but the next Pokemon will we'll, we'll kind of have an advantage right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Hotshot, the main man, you know, the one with the highest attack points on my team, probably? I don't know. Haven't checked their stats yet. And here we go. Fire Punch. For the win. Eat it. Can it do it? Will it do it? Yes, it did. Say goodbye to him, Hanta. Look at that. Alrighty. Okay, and... Here she's coming out with a Meta Jam, so... Yeah, we're really gonna have to... Yeah, we're really gonna have to do something about this one right here. So let's go. Another Fire Punch. Look at that, look at that. And here comes that reversal now. This might be bad for me. Probably, I don't know. Here comes that reversal. Can it? Will it? And it almost does. Jeez, okay, so... You wanna play like that? Let's go with a Fire Blitz. Or Flare Blitz. I don't even know. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, look at that. Say goodbye. And Hotshot, of course, grows to level 63. It's a good battle right there. Hydra 5, level 28. You gotta love that stuff. Okay, alrighty. So we don't get any items for her. But we will be going up here and finding the next item. And right here you'll actually find TM09 Venoshock. A very, very good poison type move that you can actually use for any of your Pokemon. And, well, that pretty much concludes our episode right here of this area, Route 15. And the next, well, the next town over right here might, wait, what is it, Black Town? Black Forest? I don't even know. Hold on. People who yearn for the hustle and bustle often move to Black City. Really? And as the residents change, the city, all, the city also changes. When I look at the change for a while, the city looks like a gigantic creature. Huh. You don't say. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Black City. This is the first time that we are in Black City. And, wow. This is just, uh, this, is, this is just big right here because, yeah. Now, there really isn't a lot to do right here in Black City. It's just a, a, a major city. Nothing too big. I believe there is what? Hold on. Let's see. You can go into the interlink in the city. It's small. You can actually, uh, 
get yourself, uh, you know, Intralink. Uh, you get rewards for battling trainers around here. And then, uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, let's see, the number of people living here is determined by the number of days you took... It took you to reach the city in Pokemon Black version. The number of buildings depends on the number of residents. And the number of residents, list above, can also uh, be as few as zero, as many as ten. Okay, so we're healing up our Pokemon right here. And, well, there is one place that you can actually go to. And it's the market right here. This big old building. And... Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what the, what this place has to offer right here. Let's see. Hello! May, may I help you? And let's see. Of course, you can you can actually buy yourself an Ulva Stone right here. It actually causes a Pokemon to evolve. Pokeballs right here. Wow, they cost more than than anything. It's a very, very expensive town right here. Let's see what else I could find. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Uh, nothing. Okay, so talk to this guy. I want to become more powerful and to make more money. And then I just got lucky and got some Pokemon here. I want to use want to use them right now. So let's have a rotation battle. No, thank you. Do you not want to have a rotation battle right here? Actually, I, do, I really don't want to battle anybody right now. Wow, it's really expensive. So many things. Just great. I want this and that and that and th things over there. Okay. And then let's see. Let's have a rotation battle. No, thank you. And let's see. Cities, everything. Absolutely everything. Okay. And if you talk to this guy, welcome to Black City. This is a city of dreams, greed, and more greed. And I am the Black, Black City boss, so I am a whirlpool of greed. This city is filled with, vi with vibrant people who like big piles of greed. Hmm. Try defeating 10 of our uh, people outside, then I'll respond to your greed. I see that you've defeated zero of them. Keep trying. Okay, so... Let's see. You, if you win, if you defeat... It just depends on how many people you you beat, and especially the residents. Let's let's say for an instance, if you're battling a Grace, they'll give you a Dawnstone price. Or wait, 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 am I wrong? Let's see. I don't even know. There are different traders right here. You defeat a, a Herman, or no, a Rider, they'll give you a Nugget and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't even know. Whatever. So let's see. Hello. Let's see. A Leaf Stone. Really? Is that the only thing they they have to offer? That's this place is a uh, place of greed right here, so I'm gonna get the heck out of here because uh, there really isn't uh, a lot to do right here except for battling a lot of trainers, and that's exactly what happens right here, guys. You battle trainers, you get items, you get a lot of money and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, really there isn't a lot to do right here. Okay, here's Carlos, and I'm looking at the list right here. If you take on Carlos, he... let's see, let's see, Carlos, Carlos... Carlos will actually be the Oval Stone, and it will be 10,000. And, well, we're going to be battling this guy right now, just as an example. So, let's go right ahead and take on Backpacker Carlos, and he will be coming out with a Staraptor right here. I do miss my, uh, I do miss my, uh, my, my Starblade. Let me bring him over, and uh, Staraptor right here is at level 30, so... Yeah, not much of a challenge. I mean, I could beat it with one hit, probably. So let's go with a Sludge Bomb. And... Well, here we go. Sludge Bomb for the win. And... Look at that. Say goodbye. Yes, sir. Rebob. Look at that. I defeated you. Defeated you. Okay. Okay, so that's one, I guess. And, well... I, I, I guess we should try another Pokemon trainer. Like I said, the, the amount of days that, that it took you to get here will depend on how many people will have uh, will be here. So let's see. Well, I guess you battle these people. You can whatever you want. Let's see. I work real hard, make a lot of money. Okay, so never mind. And let's see. Let's see. Is there anybody else right here that we can actually take on? Maybe in this house right here. I don't know. Let's see. Chuck, stop moving around. Here we go. I'm trying this toy. I want more fun toy. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, want more toys? Uh, let's see. Channeled by another. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this place is a place of greed. Holy crud. All right, let's see what this person is. A Piercy. Pierce. Whew. What a what a thrilling lifestyle. Want a taste of the thrill with the Pokemon battle? 
I got no choice but to battle you. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go right ahead and take on uh, Pierce, and he will be coming out with an Ampharos, a Pokemon that we do love. Actually, we do have a Fluff Blade. Fluff Blade in Pokemon. What was it? Heart Gold, yes. Heart Gold. And again, let's go with a Sludge Bomb right here. And that nearly beats him, so he's going to get one good hit at me. And look at that. Okay, so one more Sledge Bomb for the win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time to beat him. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And alright. And look at that. Rich Boy Pierce has been defeated. We get a nice amount of mo money, which is always great. Um, so, I'm just going to just battle those two people right there, guys. And now, if you go straight back to this guy, I believe he'll offer, you, offer up some more items or something. So let's see, Vibrant, let's see, defeated two of them, keep trying. But what happens if you defeat them? To, uh, defeat two people? Actually, nothing else happens. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there, guys. So, I'm going to end the episode in this one, I know. We could we could always do more, but kind of don't want to, because, trust me, guys, there's not a lot of stuff that you can actually find here. In the next episode, let's see. Let's see, where are we? I'm gonna use a map for the first time right here again. We are in Black City. Now we're gonna be going straight to Route 14. So this one's going to be a doozy because we get we still got two new towns that we need to visit. And what else? What else? What else? Round 114. We're gonna be we're gonna be finding some new stuff right there. And there might be the the whole situation with the final member of the the uh, what was it? The Seven Sages. So. Yeah, we're gonna take care of that situation, and I accidentally pressed the button right there. We're gonna take care of that, all of Route 14, and moving on forward, and then after that, we'll see what else happens. I don't even know. So, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.